Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to look at the OpenFX plugin called Texture Pop. It's a unique tool for making your video stand out. And that being said, let's have a look and see how it actually works with the system. Okay, so let's have a look at Texture Pop. So basically what it is, is this is only available on the Resolve Studio version. And basically what you do is, once you apply the OpenFX plugin for Texture Pop, then what you can do here is you have your three modes, which is basically RGB or Chroma Luminance. And we'll leave it in RGB mode, output mode, final result, perfect. And operating mode, we have a simple and advanced. Advanced gives you a, a bit more functionality here, which we don't require at this stage. So what we want to do is actually bring out more of the texture of the water here in this shot, and also of the road as well. Because as you can see here, it was an early morning shot, and we want to accentuate this a bit. So basically what we do here first is we turn up the strength a little bit and then decide how much detail we want to apply. So as you can see here on the scope, the waveform is being stretched out a bit. So here we can actually see now more information in the water now and also the road. If you compare it to the default, which is no correction. And then here and now I can actually apply just a bit more of this. Now, if it gets too much where you're actually losing too much detail in the blacks there or the lift area, you can use the low softening under the custom curves to bring that back. And that gives you a nice compromise there for this. You can also, too, here, change your tonal range. So you can actually change shadows, midtones, and highlights. And you can adjust this a bit. And then you can turn highlights down a bit. So let's say if I just want to bring the lights up. And then if I want to work on the shadows, I can bring it up like that. So. And then we have, lastly, the global blend. So this is giving you full correction. If you just want to have half correction, you can bring it down. So this will show you without correction, and that is with correction. So as you can see, it's a very useful tool that is extremely simple to use, but it gives a very stunning result. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Have a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel for more tips and tricks. And I look forward to seeing you back here soon. Thanks a lot for watching.